Hello and welcome to all current fifth grade families and students who are going to be attending Ridgeline Middle School. My name is Mr. Curry and I'm the principal here at Ridgeline. And I'm here to talk to you today about the transition to Ridgeline Middle School as an incoming sixth grader. Uh, in particular, we're going to talk about the schedule uh, and your choice of electives. Counselors and myself have been to um, almost all of the feeder schools now, uh, Prairie, uh, Lacamas, and we're going to be coming to uh, Mill Pond by Zoom pretty soon to talk to current fifth graders. Uh, but also wanted to make this video for our remote students or students who may have been absent and, and families and parents who want to view um, this video as a resource. Um, so we're really excited about the class of 2028 coming up to Ridgeline next year. Uh, we're hopeful that it is going to be a more normal year uh, and uh, we're looking forward to see, seeing a full set of students back in our buildings next year um, uh, with a little bit no more normal school year. Um, this is a typical sample schedule that students will follow. We talked with current fifth graders about what's going to be different. One of those things uh, that's different about middle school is going from having one teacher uh, or a smaller um, uh, handful of teachers to uh, six or seven teachers in a day. Um, this is what a typical day looks like. Uh, all students will have the four core classes, ELA, math, uh, science, and social studies. Uh, and then we'll choose two electives. Um, so we're going to talk about your choices in electives, and we're going to talk about the registration form for electives, uh, which we're going to send out to uh, all parents, which um, we started getting some of those in. Uh, but we're going to talk to you about that and uh, have you think about what electives you will want. Um, here's just a list of uh, some of those electives. We'll talk a little bit more about these. But PE, art, band, uh, bass choir, which is a boys choir, um, choir, which is mixed, um, computer science, which is STEM and ro includes STEM and robotics, uh, guitar, uh, which you can bring your own guitar for, or we do have guitars that we can provide for students. Um, leadership, which is character development and leadership within our school. And uh, percussion, which is kind of by a, a part of band, um, focusing on um, drums and percussive instruments. So the registration process will be, we're gonna send out a Google form to all parents, uh, fifth grade parents who are at the feeder schools for Ridgeline. And we're asking that um, if you did not see our presentation at the school or you did not get that, that you please get your form in by May 14th. Um, and that's a Friday, May 14th is a Friday. Uh, we are a no excuses university school that should sound familiar uh, to uh, most of our feeder schools who are also um, no excuses university schools, uh, which is after high school comes college. So middle school is a, a next step in that journey to really prepare students to be ready for um, whatever they choose to do after high school graduation. Um, and we explore more options at the middle school level, um, including um, community colleges, um, universities, of course, uh, trade schools, military. We start to explore some of those different options. But we do want students to have a plan um, after high school of, um, you know, more training and more education after high school leading um, towards a career and a meaningful life. So when you, when you come up to Ridgeline, you are part of the RMS family, we call it. Um, all students will get um, a, an RMS family t-shirt when they sign the Storm Covenant. We'll talk about the Storm Covenant here um, in a second. Um, but we also have RMS family meetings, usually once a week, uh, during a time that we call OT, which is opportunity time. 
So um, a few times a week, students have opportunity time. Usually it's been between first and second periods in the morning, uh, or um, sometimes we've called it second period. And it's just a 30 minute period where students can get help uh, from teachers if they're not, if they need to make up an assignment in math or they need to get help in math, they can go to their math teacher or they can go to one of their other teachers to get help. Um, it's also some, some enrichment activities are offered during that time uh, for students who want to extend their learning. Um, so that's a real uh, good opportunity for um, to get academic help and advancement in your classes. One of those times during the week is what we call RMS family meetings, and that is geared more toward um, character development, leadership, and really a time to connect with your homeroom students. Uh, your fellow homeroom students you will who you have in sixth grade, you'll follow up and have the same homeroom in seventh and eighth grade, and you'll have the same homeroom teacher in sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. And that's really just to build a good relationship with that staff member, that teacher, uh, and your fellow students in that class, and have them really be a resource for you to help you throughout your middle school career. This is what RMS family meetings can look like. Sometimes we circle up, sometimes we do fun activities where you're moving around. Um, but this of course was a picture of a family meeting um, before the pandemic, but we have to follow safety uh, protocol um, until we know that we no longer need to and can do so safely. But this is what a RMS family meeting uh, looks like um, in a normal school year. So the STORM Covenant, uh, STORM stands for Successful, Trustworthy, Organized, Respectful, and Motivated. We'll teach you how to be each of those things at Ridgeline Middle School and how to be those things in different parts of the school. How do you be successful in the commons in the morning and during lunch? How do you be successful in your classroom, in the hallways? Um, how do you be trustworthy with your friends? How do you be organized with your classes? Um, and your binder, um, and your planner, which you will also get a planner um, that's going to be part of your organization at Ridgeline. Hey, be respectful and stay motivated in your classes and in your middle school career. And then you sign a storm covenant, which is your kind of commitment to being those things, and you will receive your RMS family t-shirt for doing that. Uh, part of our reward system is the Stormy Buck store. Uh, it's used to reward positive behavior and academic effort. Uh, this is what a Stormy Buck looks like. And you use those, some students use them every week. Usually the Stormy Buck store is open on Fridays. And uh, you can use Stormy Bucks every Friday to get um, treats or little prizes um, at the Stormy Buck store. Or you can save up your Stormy Bucks to uh, get larger items from the Stormy Buck store. It's a reward system for students who are caught doing, um, giving really good academic effort um, toward their learning or really positive behavior. Some other things to think about for middle school. As I mentioned, your homeroom is the time which you will have RMS family meetings and opportunity time. And it loops for three years. So you are with the same homeroom teacher and same homeroom class for three years. Um, and that is to build positive relationships with that group. Grading is going to be a little bit different. Uh, at the elementary level, you're on a, a standards-based system where you get a one, two, three, or four. Uh, you will switch to um, letter grades um, at the secondary level and which is usually based on percentages. Um, so a typical um, class might look like if you get uh, below a 60%, that's a failing grade or an F. Um, if you get a 60 to a 69, it's a D, 70 to 79% a C, 80 to 89% a B, or 90 to 100% is an A. So that's something else you'll have to kind of get used to. You'll also use the Skyward system um, to check grades. Parents will be able to have access to grades and they can check grades every day if they want. And we also will encourage students to be regularly check checking their grades and be able to advocate for themselves and really know what their grades are in each class. Activities will become available too. Um, in a typical year, we have um, activities after school, such as creative writing, 
um, STEM and robotics. Uh, so there, uh, there are different uh, opportunities for that after school. We also have sports. It used to be that sixth graders could not do sports, but now they can, everything except for football. So football is the only sport that sixth graders cannot do. Um, but there are many other sports that sixth graders can can sign up for. Lockers, I know there's always a little bit of anxiety around lockers for sixth graders. Uh, but you don't have to use a locker. You can if you want to. If you want to um, have just your binder and your Chromebook and carry that all day, um, you will not really need a locker. But if you have a backpack or you have other items um, you'll need your locker for, but we'll teach you how to do the combination on your locker. Typically, though, too, we don't have enough lockers for all students. So it's uh, normal for you to be sharing a locker with someone in your homeroom class. Um, but again, you don't have to have a locker if you don't want to. Um, but if you do have extra items, that's that's a spot where you can store your stuff. We also have a large cage at, in the commons that we uh, lock up um, every day in the morning and open every day after school. And students will store items in there, such as sports equipment or other things they bring that they cannot fit into their lockers. PE is a little different um, in middle school. Uh, students are expected to dress down, which means they change into their PE uniform. Um, some students will simply just wear their um, they wear clothes to school that they can do PE in, and then they just wear their PE shirt um, over their clothing. Um, and some students go into the locker room and um, change and put their school clothes into the gym locker, and then after PE, change back and go to their next class. But there's an expectation that's a little different at middle school. Uh, you'll be expected to purchase a planner. Those are $5 at the beginning of the year. Uh, and a planner is used for organizations and all sorts of other things at RMS. Um, it also contains your student handbook, um, which is all the rules and things that we operate by um, here at Ridgeline Middle School. So those are the typical things that we get questions about. If you have other questions, um, certainly feel free to email me. Um, and that is uh, Craig underscore Curry at YCS.com wednet.edu. You can find uh, my email address on the website as well on the Ridgeline Middle School website. Again, we need to talk about your schedule because we're also part of this presentation is you thinking about our fifth grade students who are coming uh, up to Ridgeline, who are going to be incoming sixth graders next year, you thinking about what electives you would like to take as part of your schedule in addition to your core classes which are ELA math science and social studies um, this particular schedule has PE and art for the first half of the year the first semester and then leadership and computer science for the second half of the semester there are some uh, electives that are year-long such as um, band but uh, most of our electives are semester long. Again, these are our elective classes, PE, art. Um, you can take PE all three years. You can take art all three years. This is a sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade art and sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade PE. Um, there's sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade band. Uh, you, no prior experience is required for band. Um, that also includes choir. So if you're interested in music, um, singing, or band, we would love for you to consider choir and band. We know that a lot of fifth graders didn't get, get to participate that in, in those um, with those specialists as much this year. So we would love for you to sign up for those. Computer science is always popular. Um, guitar leadership is a great class. Percussion, all great elective classes. You just kind of need to think about what are your top three or four choices? You'll pick your top three or four choices and we'll try to get you your top two choices. And if we can't, we'll try to get you your third or your fourth choices. The registration process is that the registration form will be emailed to your, to all, uh, to all fifth graders, adults. Um, 
pretty soon here, and we will ask you to complete that by May 14th. You're going to select your elective class preference, first choice, second choice, third choice, and fourth choice. Um, we do try our best to place you in those classes. However, it's not a guarantee. Um, so if we can't, if it fills up or we can't fit you, um, we, you might get your second choice or third choice or fourth choice. Um, again, the forms are due May 14th. That's a Friday. One of the things we want you to consider is a band as an elective. So we have our band teacher, the Ridgeline band teacher, Mr. Means here, who is going to talk about band and you considering band as an elective. The video is about uh, seven minutes, I believe, and then we'll come back to finish the presentation. That's the front of our school. Hey everyone, welcome to the Ridgeline Middle School Band Cave. I'm Mr. Means, the band teacher here. Have you ever thought about joining the band? It's a lot of fun. We get to play a lot of music, including things like this. you could play in the band, including things like the flute, A little bit less well-known member would be the oboe. ever heard of a bassoon? In our brass family, we have a few different members like the trumpet. We 
we also have a very interesting instrument, the horn, sometimes called French horn. <laughs> bottom of our band, the biggest and lowest sounding instrument we have, the tuba. Maybe you're thinking, Mr. Means, those are cool, but those wind instruments just aren't for me. Then maybe you should think about the percussion family, where you'll get to learn to play all of these and more. Boys and girls, Mr. Means here one last time, just wanting to make sure I invite each and every one of you to join us here in band at Ridgeline Middle School next year. So excited to have you in our building, and we'd love to have you in the band with us as well. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask one of our principals or one of our counselors that's there with you today. And if they don't have the answer for you, please feel free to email me or have your parents email me right here at Ridgeline Middle School, and I would love to answer any questions you might have. Also be looking for information coming out soon about our instrument rental and information nights coming up towards the end of this year or right before the beginning of next year. All right. Thank you so much for your time today and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. Sorry. I'm um, trying to figure out how to, there we go. Um, so hopefully if you are considering band, that uh, video helped you to uh, learn a little bit more about what it would be like. Uh, Mr. Means is a great teacher and students really enjoy being in his class. So we hope that you consider uh, joining band um, as an elective if you're interested in that. Um, if not, uh, we hope that you uh, we'll fill out the form with your parents and choose two of the other electives and a couple of other choices in case you don't get those electives. So remember that the registration process uh, is that the registration form will be emailed to parents and guardians over the next uh, week through Google Forms. Please complete with your parent or guardian by May 14th. Uh, you'll select first choice, second choice, third choice, and fourth choice and we will try our best to get your top two choices but if we can't we'll try for your uh, next two choices if for some reason we can't um, do um, do those we usually are able to give you um, some of your choices if you don't fill out the registration form we will typically pick your electives for you so it is important for you to get that um, get that registration in and choose your um, top four electives. So with that, um, I will thank you for your attention today. Uh, we will be getting out more information about transition events for our incoming sixth graders. Again, we are very excited uh, to meet the class of 2028. Uh, we hope that you are excited about middle school. Uh, Ridgeline is a great school. Uh, we're excited for you to be a part of the RMS family and really hope to see you soon. Uh, thank you. And if you have any questions, go to the Ridgeline Middle School website um, and find my email. Again, I am Craig Curry, principal at Ridgeline Middle School. Thank you for listening today and we will see you soon. Thank you.